Right, guys, uh, doing a little mod today. Got the transmission thermostat block off. Uh, this is where your transmission lines goes into, then your cooler and so forth. Uh, here's what we're going to be doing. Right here's the part number on this. This is to delete the thermostat inside of this and to make it where it flows all the time. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. There's a little thermostat in there. It will stay closed until the transmission reaches around 190 degrees. Then it will open and let the uh, fluid go to the cooler and back to the transmission. Uh, when it is closed, it comes in and just does a horseshoe straight to the transmission. It just bypasses until it warms up. Uh, so they make some... Uh, RivMax makes a block to fully delete this, but I wanted to go this route and do the little valve. Um, just because it's a lot cheaper and the, the uh, RivMax block is $200. I really didn't want to pay that, so this is what we're going to be doing. I'll show you guys real fast. A little bit of air. showing up but it'll come in the top and it'll just horseshoe back straight back to bypass it until the transmission warms up on these eight speeds uh, thermostats around opens up around 190 degrees uh, so we're gonna there's a little ring in here they say it'll take they say to take a mill bit and do this on the instructions um, or you can just drill a quarter inch hole with a slide hammer and just pop it out, but you have to uh, smooth this back out if it's got any uh, burrs or anything on it. But we'll get with it here. Here's what I did. I just took a die grinder and took, you see how this got a little lippy on, on it? You don't mess with the little hole. It's just the big one. I smoothed it down to it. I mean, it's only a few thousands. It's hardly nothing. I'm going to take a drill bit and drill this. Put a screw in and take a slide hammer and pop it out. Let's see if I can get you guys to set here. It's starting to come there, guys. We're going to try it again here. There it is, guys. Reposition this. Take everything out. Uh, there's what it looks like.
This is the little thermostat deal. Goes in there like so. Removing that. Now we have to tack the center of this block with a 7 sixteenths by 14 tack. So, I'll show you real fast. By grinding that down, that's actually pretty smooth there. That's just the upper lip. The uh, rest of it sets down in this radius here. So, all right, guys. It's a 7 sixteenths by 14 tap. All right, I got that tapped, cleaned out, and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to lock tight this, put some lock tight on it, and put it in there. I put a little bit of lube on the O-ring so it'll go in there good. Snug it up good. It's good and tight. I'm going to take a little chisel and a hammer. It's got some little notches here that you can uh, kick in on it, keep it from backing out. Side. Okay, check it one more time. All right. There it is, it's in there. That's what it looks like. Now it's straight through. Part number stuff on it. Arrows. This is the top, it faces to the top of the car. I mark it on here anyway. Uh, in your lines. Your two lines uh, coming from the transmission to go here. Uh, it's best, to, I'll show you how to, how to do that in a second. It's best just to pop them loose from the transmission. There's two clips. Just pop them out, pull them out, and take the two uh, two lines loose up here, and you can just pull it all the way out, then take them off on the bench. It's easier. All right, I'm going to put the lines on. I mark these, uh, how they line up. If not, you'll have to. Test it a couple times till you get them to the right angle. Just get them started. Like so.
20 millimeter wrench that fits them. All right, guys, right there is where the thermostat block's located on the driver's side on the chargers and challengers. You'll take them two lines loose, 20 millimeter, and take a, it's like a wrench, and hold the block, keep it from twisting like so, and take your other one, uh, your other wrench, and put on there and loosen it up while you hold that. Take these two loose. Then back here on the transmission, let's see, two lines there. There's a little clip. You got these on it, just a cover. Pop them covers off. There's a little clip right here on both of these. Just take a little pick and pull them all the way out. Then you just pop your lines out, and then pull the after you got the two loose up front. Pull the whole thing back. And you can take it out and just re same thing reverse wise uh, when you're going back in and take push these all the way up on there like so all right guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video um this little quick uh, rundown on how to do that that is the sonax I'm not sure how you pronounce it uh uh, plug kit for delete for the thermostat uh, for the factory block uh, just a little bit more involved on that one but there is other companies that make them uh, rivmax makes uh, the complete block that you just buy from them bolt on it's like 200 some dollars uh, after shipping and stuff taxes uh, i give like 68 dollars for just that little plug from shipping and everything from jag so Saves about $150 roughly, $140, $150. Bucks. Um, there is another company that makes one. It's a Mishimoto, but I don't like the design of it. Modern Muscle sells it. It's um, you got to cut your lines and run rubber hose and clamps and fittings and all kinds of stuff. It's like $400 some dollars, and that's just way too much, and not a big fan of that. Uh, putting a rubber hose on a smooth transmission line that has a lot of pressure and without any kind of barbs or, or uh, flaring end of it, that's I ain't a big fan of that. Um, so either the Riv Max or the kit that I got, but I'll keep you updated on this. Uh, usually my trans temps, it is still winter time right now, so even on 50, 60 degree days, it's after about two, three pulls, mine gets up in the 190s, 200 range. Uh, and it takes it a while to cool back down to 170s and so forth. But I'll keep you updated on the temps, what this one is. Some people say they like to run them. Some people don't. just depends on who you talk to. My personal opinion, if you're trying to uh, go for max effort stuff on a factory transmission, it's probably worth it. And, and especially if you live in a hot climate and stuff. So we'll see how it does. I'll uh, update you probably in another video or something. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.